thanks a lot for being with us tonight. Another storm system passed to our south. So that's kind of the pattern that's been going on. And here's what happens. Well, we've been noticing, I know Brian Nisnansky, Cameron Moreland have been watching the same thing. The computer models bring these storm systems closer to closer to us, bring us more snow, and then as they start to track our way, they make a jog to the south, and then that brings a lot of the snow there. So that's what's been going on. They've been heading to the south. Now, some of you think that's a good thing because it's less for you to shovel, but snowmobilers, of course, I know you want to see more. Not only that, but check this out. This is also what happened today. Notice this heavier batch of precipitation in Illinois. Some heavier showers. Well, what that kind of caused is this moisture transport block. This happens with thunderstorms, too. If we have heavier stuff to our south, it kind of blocks the moisture from working its way north from the Gulf and kind of brings down our precip totals, and that's what happened, which I think for some of us is okay. After the winter we've been having, and not only that, we don't have any advisories here. No watches, warnings, or advisories, but just out to the west. Wind chill advisory for late tonight. No surprise, it is going to get cold tonight. Now, averages 25, records 42. I don't even want you to think about records. I want you to kind of try to focus on an average high to see if we can actually get there. And it didn't even do it in Milwaukee today, nor Minneapolis. Let's see what's on the way for tomorrow. We've got some mid teens, lower teens. Here we go again with the cold, snow cold, snow cold. It just keeps going on like that. The temperatures now getting colder. It's 12 Green Bay, 10 Fond du Lac in Appleton, and 14 in Sheboygan. Now, satellite radar, again, some of us, especially to the south, saw a little bit of snow today, a couple flurries off to the north. Didn't add up to too much. The heavier totals, if you want to even call it heavy, were to the south and east. That's all moving out. Now we're going to be clearing out the skies as the night goes on, which means, of course, we're going to get colder, just like we have been. Now, this is no polar vortex. Let's not freak out here as far as the cold, but still, it is going to be colder tomorrow than it even was today, but it is going to be dry. Sun should feel nice, and not only that, we're not going to see too much in the way of wind. You know, like a lot of these other clipper systems that have passed, and then all of a sudden, the winds crank up and our temperatures don't even make it above zero. So, see, there's a little positive in that. So, as we go through the night, again, high pressure rolling on in, but it's cold high pressure. Unfortunately, it's not bringing us a lot of warmth, but at least it will bring us sunshine. Not only Sunday, but it looks like Monday as well until the next storm system. Going to track out into the plains. We'll have to see if that one clips our area uh, further south a little bit better chances. That's not until Tuesday afternoon. Let's focus on tonight. Zero. And I think some folks are going to drop below zero as we head through the overnight with these clouds on the decrease. Now, as far as Sunday, oh, you're going to have some sun. But it's going to be another cold day. Wind chills at times zero to 15 below, especially in the morning. Now, as far as Sunday night, clear, cold, wind chills overnight, 10 to 20 below. Not as bad as we have been seeing, but that's still plenty cold. And then for Monday, we start off on the cold side with maybe 10 to 15 below wind chills, and then we go up to 17 degrees. Progress, I guess, if you want to call it that. At least it's not those polar vortices. Now, as we head through the next 10 days, what are we looking at here? Chance of snow Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night. We'll have to watch track of that. And then just like every system that passes, Cassandra gets cold again, five on Thursday. And it looks like most of this upcoming week, no temperatures even around average until next weekend with another chance of snow.